All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in the Center Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be a general love reading. So let's find out what's going on with you and your person, okay? If you guys wanna book something personal, as always, my information is down below. And if there are any promotions going on, because I don't know when you're gonna be watching this, there is one right now, but that is you know, based on this timeline. Um, if there are any promotions, it should be listed in the description box down below. Okay, so let's find out. Sorry, I have all my decks out today because I'm doing personal readings. So let's take a look and see. Past energy, you and the person that's on your mind. If you guys are interested in your own personal development, um, self-help courses, I have a Twin Flame course and I have a self-love course, okay? So that information is down below as well. All right, so let's jump in. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, past energy, spirit, what is going on with those who are watching and their person? Past energy, what's going on? Wow, whoa, double whammy, fool and the ace of wands. So this is definitely a new beginning, okay? This is past energy though. So maybe in the past, you and this person, maybe this could be someone new. Like maybe you just met this person. And for those of you, if you didn't just meet this person, maybe you had a fresh start with them in the past or you guys talked about a new beginning or some sort of fresh start, okay? Let's take a look at their current energy towards you. What's their current energy towards you? Whoa, this person wants to commit. Okay, so, if, okay, there's a few things here. If you just met this person, this person sees you as commitment material. That's how they're viewing you. Like, if you just met this person or recently met them within the past month or two, probably, um, this person feels really, really passionate about you and they're looking at you as, wow, this could be like something long term. Like, this person sees you as like a commitment material type of person. Um, they feel a sense of like actually very committed to you. This is their current energy towards you. Okay, for those of you where this is someone from your past, I feel like you had a new beginning with them or maybe you had a fresh start in the past and I feel like their current energy towards you is that they feel very committed or they want something committed with you. Okay, so let's take a look. What's your energy towards this person? What is your energy towards this person? The Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? So I feel like for, what's interesting, I'll clarify this, but to me, this is saying that you're holding back from this person. So um, could it be that they're a little bit more interested in you than you are in them? Why is the Knight of Wands reversed? Unless it's just an intim Oh. Okay. I feel like you guys are both interested in each other. The reason why you're holding back, what it's telling me is that you're feeling a little bit insecure right now. Or you're feeling a little... You may be having some self-doubts coming up for you. Okay? Maybe you feel very passionate towards this person. But because of that, a lot of your insecurities are coming up. Because I feel here you're holding back from them. And it's not because you don't like them. Or it's not because you don't have feelings. It's actually you're holding back because you're dealing with some insecurities. Judgment coming through in reverse. Okay? Some of you guys, maybe you're not consciously aware of why you're holding back. So if you're wondering, like, why am I holding back? You know, I like this person. Well, this is why... Okay, some of you guys are needing to maybe heal something from your past because you might be carrying some sort of insecurities um, and you don't want to bring that in if it's something new, if it's a new person or if it's a new um, energy in an old connection. Okay, so that's your energy. So let's see, why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? Wow, oh my gosh, finally a good freaking reading, guys. Ten of Cups, okay? So why is this all happening? This is someone that you could potentially have a lot of happiness with. That's what it's telling me. This is someone that you could really um, be very emotionally fulfilled with. Actually, both of you guys um, feel this way about each other, but I'm getting it's telling me through the cards here that there is this potential for a lot of fulfillment with this person. And maybe you're sensing that, and maybe that's why some of your insecurities are coming up, okay? So just be aware of that. But I'm seeing here, this looks like something very beautiful, something like a potential for something really um, fulfilling here. Okay. How are they seeing you as a person right now? So they, they're picking up on your insecurities. They, okay. So, um, they are seeing that maybe you're not feeling super confident in yourself right now, or maybe that you are dealing with some sort of insecurities because I do have, like I said, the judgment card in reverse is, is your feelings, but the six of wands reverse is a card of not being confident. So they're aware of that. So I don't know if you told them that, or if they're just picking up on the fact that maybe you're just not feeling super confident right now. They are picking up on that. Okay. 
Um, maybe it's you've gone through something. I'm not exactly sure what this like lack of confidence is coming from, but they do, they are aware, okay? So how are you seeing them as a person? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So interesting, you're seeing them as, for some of you guys, if you've dealt with someone in the past that was very non-committal with you, okay, here's, here's, here's a scenario here. Um, take it if it resonates, but this is kind of what I'm feeling with this energy. If you were dealing with someone in the past who is non-committal with you, you feel, it's almost like you're projecting this energy onto this new person, or you're projecting this um, onto the new energy of whatever the old, this old person. Okay. So take it out resonates, but I feel like, especially if you dealt with a situation in the past where like you, you were dealing with someone who was very non-committal, I think you're worried that this person is not going to want to commit to you or is maybe going to be flaky when it comes to commitment. But I'm here to tell you this reading is saying that this is not the case. This person is very committed to you. They want to be committed to you. So try not to allow your insecurities or anything from your past to affect this connection because this person really, really admires you. This person really cares about you. Um, and despite maybe them realizing that maybe you're not feeling overly confident right now, they still feel like they could have this fulfillment with you. So try not to project old stuff onto this person because this person actually is committed to you or they do see a commitment with you. Okay, let's see best possible case scenario or best possible scenario. Ooh, okay, all right. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords as the best possible scenario. So what this is telling me is this could indicate that if you continue down the road of holding back from this person because of your insecurities, it's going to lead to something heartbroken. It's going to lead to heartbreak, but I'm feeling this is almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Let me clarify this. Why is this here? Why do we have the Three of Swords? as the best possible scenario, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting is this. Here's the message for you guys. If you feel like this could be someone that you could have something with, and if you like this person, you care about this person, Spirit is saying, be honest with this person. Because if you're holding back, or if you're kind of giving that sort of like disinterested vibe as a way to be like, um, as a way to almost protect yourself because of your own insecurities or anything that is that your, your insecurities could be anything. So just take out resonates. But if you're holding back because of your own self doubts and you're not telling this person, you're making this person feel like maybe you don't care. This will lead to heartbreak because it will be a self fulfilling prophecy. Like if you assume that this person isn't going to want to be with you, or if you assume that this person doesn't want something committed with you, I'm getting here that that's what you'll get. Like you're gonna end up getting that situation if you assume that. So what the, what the message is here, what I'm picking up on is tell this person the truth because they feel the same way. This person cares about you a lot. They see something, they see the potential and I'm getting here that there is a potential for a 10 of cups. So if you wanna prevent this three of swords happening in the future, I feel like you have to give this person more to go off of. Like you gotta tell this person that you care, or tell this person, that you have interest. For some of you guys, this is not gonna resonate, um, but for some of you guys, if you know that you've been holding back from someone um, and not really expressing how you feel, I feel like um, it's advised that you do, you do tell this person how you feel, okay? All right, let's get a little bit more on their current feelings for you. See, look at that. Loving, romantic, passionate, intimate. Guys, don't doubt this person. They have feelings for you. They, this person really cares about you. They have romantic feelings for you. Don't let your past um, affect this. Okay, I actually don't even really need to pull the message because it's actually super clear. This is gonna be a short reading because it's pretty direct. Um, there is a good potential here. Don't allow like past disappointments to stop you and be honest with this person. They will value this. If this reading is resonating with you guys, this person that you are dealing with seems like a good-hearted person. It seems like someone who is ready for something romantic, is ready for something committed, and they see that with you. I feel like this person wants to put in like that effort. <clears throat> um, I'm even getting like this person is willing to, to help you heal from some of your insecurities. Like I feel like this person wants to be there for you. But are you going to let this person be there for you? Okay? So guys, that's what I' 'm getting.
All right, so I do hope that this reading was uh, helpful. If you guys want to book something personal, all of my information is in the description box down below. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journey. Take care.